Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is Salady, and today we're going to fish for Northern Pike in New York. So as you can see right here, I have a Northern Pike. I just caught it. Uh, it's uh, close to two kilograms. It's about 65 centimeters long, and it gives us 50 experience points. Uh, as you can see right here, it says plus 26. That's because I'm right now on my premium account, on my main account. Um, if you're not a premium account, only watch uh, this number, 50, and uh, as soon as I'll show you guys the list of the pike that I've caught, um, the experience that it says behind it, uh, withdraw one third of uh, the amount of it, and then you get the XP that you would get on a normal account. Okay, so this is a nice beauty. I love fishing pike, so uh, I really like it. Uh, let's keep this. Um, first off, I'll show you guys what I've caught so far. So here we are. Um, let's sort by type. So I caught uh, a couple of uh, trophy grass pickerels and a grass pickerel and then the northern pike, which you can see right here. Uh, I have three young ones and then three regular ones. So the young ones, um, here we have one of uh, 300 grams, another one close to 400, this one is almost 400, and then the adults, it's uh, 1.4 kilograms, 1.7 and 1.9. So uh, that's, um, that's uh, my catch of the day. Um, as you can see right here, I fished in uh, the midday. Uh, I started at uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. And right now I think it's a little past 5 p.m. in the uh, afternoon or evening, as it says. Um, the Northern Pike, they, um, uh, you can fish them uh, during peak hours. Uh, and um, on sunny days they become active in the afternoon. And in the evenings they are in particular very active, uh, especially the, the big ones. And for the rest of the day you can also fish them, but uh, you get more young northern pikes than that you will get adults. Uh, on uh, cloudy days you can fish for them too. And uh, then uh, again it's like all day long um, that you can, uh, can fish for them. So uh, here uh, reward wise, so the young ones give us 8 bucks and then the adults give between 22 and 30. Uh, box uh, XP as a set with a third of it so here it's like 66 but minus 22 is uh, 44 experience points that you get uh, for uh, the 1.7 uh, kilogram and then here we have like 14 so about 8 XP that you get 8 to 9 experience points that you get for a young northern pike uh, maybe 10 even um, so what I've used, I tried chats, uh, but my setup uh, that I have right now has a bit of a problem with uh, chats. I think I need to uh, either go with a different reel or go with a different uh, uh, different line. Uh, anyways, but you can use chats uh, to uh, to catch the pike and, and the northern pike as well. Now right here, as you can see, I've used spoons. A uh, casting spoon works perfect for uh, for the pike. A uh, medium spoon works as well and you can even float fish them. Uh, I'll talk about this one uh, later on. Um, so, but uh, on a sunny day, uh, casting spoons, uh, the golden ones and the yellow with the red dots works great. And then the lemon eye, uh, lemon tiger, a uh, medium spoon works as well. You can also use spinners uh, that works and as I said, well, uh, jig hats with a shed or a grub or a worm works too. Uh, nano spoons, uh, by the way, work as well. Um, but I prefer to use uh, the casting spoons. Um, you can start with the 1.0 or the number 1 actually and then 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0 is your biggest and when you're float fishing hook number 2.0 and 3.0 is uh, what works on Northern Pike, uh, the regular ones, uh, I bet the young ones will also buy it on a hook number 1, uh, maybe even hook number 2. So uh, setup wise, so first off here I have adjusted 210 with low dex 1000S. I'm using a braided line uh, simply because we get more snacks here in uh, New York and um, it doesn't uh, really affect the outcome for uh, catching northern pike. Then here I have a jig winner. 
uh, 240, I believe this is a level 12 or a level 14 rod with a wind cost 2500 on it. Um, the nice thing about this one is that it can cost about 50 meters. Um, so that's that's a nice one. And then uh, for the floating, I'm using the Omni Float 450 with a wind cost 2500. And again, I should change bait on that one. Uh, and then again a mono open 23mm line and hook 1.0 and the reason that I'm using a hook 1.0 on my float setup is uh, that the float setup is weak, it's a level 8 setup and um, uh, these uh, guys, the northern pikes, they can really pull like a freight train so I don't want to hook the huge monsters, I want to stay uh, I really had a struggle already with uh, this one, with the 1.7 uh, so uh, that's why I'm using a hook 1.0 and uh, not a 2.0 or 3.0. Uh, you can use a 3.0 and as for bait, uh, the level 18 shiners work great and then uh, for gold, uh, small minnows and large minnows work uh, as well. Um, I have tried shrimps, they didn't get any bites, uh, small cup bait doesn't work either. Uh, red worms can work, but you get a lot more yellow perch and penfish uh, with those uh, too. So uh, I prefer to use uh, with either the minnows or the shiners. Um, I'm not sure about crawfish, I haven't tried it. Maybe crawfish cut could work too. Uh, again, that's also cut bait. Um, anyways, I'll, I'll explain this later. Let's uh, first just uh, use the, the lure setup. Um, so here we are uh, on the map. I'll show you guys. I'm here at the Dock of Peace. That's where I am. And then here to our right we see this whole line of reeds. And basically uh, all across the line is where you can find Northern Pike. Uh, but they tend to be a bit from here which is about 30 meters and then all the way up to there. And peak hours it's uh, in sunny days in the evening. Uh, say from 4 p.m. till about um, 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, here's where you catch the real big ones and this is about 60 meters out so if you can cast that far by all means go ahead. Um, right now I have my casting uh, rod and as you can see I really can't get towards rocks there so what I'll do is I'll cast about here so I have my drag set on free and uh, sorry my speed set on 3, my drag is set on 5 so with this setup I reach about 46, 47 meters and uh, what I'll do is I uh, aim my rod a little bit towards the right to make sure that my line goes a bit like this so it stays closer to the reeds and um, what I do then is uh, just a simple stop and go so you hold the left mouse button, you release it and wait for uh, for a second. And we already had a nibble there, but it jumped off. And another one right there. So as you can see this is a 2.0 uh, spoon, casting spoon, 14 grams. Uh, on sunny days, uh, the yellow with the red dots works, uh, the gold one works too. And on cloudy days, it's uh, better to use the silver one or um, the silver with red. So, um, as you could see earlier, I had a small snack. And the closer we get, uh, the more snacks we are going to get. And then as soon as it reaches 20, I'm going to uh, set the speed onto 4 and reel in, because then I'm too far away, like so. Right now I'm too far away from the reeds, and uh, if I am going to catch something, it's either going to be a grass pickerel, or it's going to be a yellow perch. So, that's why. So, uh, you can cast over here, and then right here there's a gap in between the reeds and here as you can see there's also a gap in between the reeds and those are spots I like to use and then here there's another gap in between the reeds that you can use as well um, so as you can see I'm standing on the right edge of the dock now if I were to use my other setup right here uh, oh I still have the shed on it let's uh, change that 
Um, so I had a casting spoon number 2.0, so let's uh, use the 1.0 for this one. Uh, what you can also do is you can stand on here. Now, you used to be able back in the days to stand over there, we can't anymore, they have uh, added this uh, reel to it. Uh, what we can is uh, we can still stand alongside it and then cast about there. Now, um, what you get is that because we are standing here instead of uh, at the the dock, is that our line will be closer alongside the the line of reeds there. So we have a better chance of uh, of hooking something. But again, you need uh, a rod that can cast a bit further because of course you're going to miss the meters that uh, you have there. So right here, this uh, setup. Uh, it's the second setup with um, the not the casting rod but the spinning rod and uh, this one can cast about 50 meters yeah there we go uh, let's see it's not really giving a lot of tension so this is either a young one or this is a grass pickerel um, make sure that you don't lose tension on the line uh, if you do uh, you might lose the fish and this really is a small one. Yeah, a young northern pike, the tiny one. So we're going to keep it. As you can see here, uh, 300 grams. There so is a really small one. And it gives 6 uh, XP. So we're uh, going to keep this. So that's uh, pretty much uh, how you uh, catch um, a northern pike. As I said, if you can cast all the way over there where the rocks are and then retrieve like that. That's awesome, of course. And uh, there's another spot where you can catch young ones and I'll show you guys. So for that we need to go here to Midland Charm. And it's actually the spot that uh, I use also to catch walleye. So when you're standing here, so all the way to the left here with the, the dead tree trunk. And then it's not really showing, it's because of the light. But here it's uh, there's the patch of lily pads and if you cast alongside it, you can also hook um, young northern pike and uh, for those who are both used the casting spoon and a medium uh, spoon a never spoon can work sometimes as well um, but having that said uh, so there's walleye here there's uh, chain pike which is over there there's walleye that's over here and also over there and if as uh, soon as we come close to uh, to uh, the lily pads, there's also redfin pickerel. Oh, I missed that one. And then, of course, there's the yellow perch, which is like a bit of the vermin of this uh, lake. Um, you'll uh, find it anywhere you're uh, going to fish for it. And another snack. Uh, that's why uh, I prefer to use braided line. Um, because right now you can already see it's down to 78 and uh, this is my third day of fishing uh, and I started with a brand new line so, uh. and then as soon as I um, saw so cost average was 50 meters and as soon as I hit like uh, 25 I stop and I reel in because uh, then um, I won't be catching a northern pike anymore the only thing that I will catch is uh, either a grass pickerel or a redfin pickerel or a yellow perch okay so um, one more thing the float fishing I'll show you guys uh, so back to dock of peace here we are and I am going to stand all the way over there so let's uh, get the omni float rod um, show you guys again set up so omni float 450 with the wind cost 2500 uh, mono open 23 millimeter line uh, it has a test of 2.7 kilograms and uh, hook 1.0 shiners on it chubby bobber now if you want to cast a bit further uh, replace the chubby bobber with uh, the heavy float uh, so here we have the pear shipped float if we change it with uh, the chubby bobber you can cast about like a two three four uh, meters max further so that's uh, that can give you that uh, that extra edge um, 
So, uh, chain or not chain pike, northern pike. Um, there are more bottom feeders than uh, chain pike is. Chain pike can uh, go uh, up to uh, 110 centimeters. So that's why I'm fishing at 240. Uh, sometimes I'm fishing at max depth. Uh, you can also fish them at 220 and even at uh, 200 centimeters. So that's two meters. Um, again, it's a bit like the same spot. So right now I'm using a hook 1.0 as I said before. This is a pretty lightweight uh, setup and these pike can uh, pull like a freight train. Um, so just uh, just about there. Uh, I have a snack so I need to wait to it, uh, for it to release. Um, my bobber was a bit crooked there so now it's uh, standing straight which is uh, nice. Uh, on uh, sunny days, I would advise to fish. Uh, oh, we already had a nibble there. I would advise to uh, fish at. Uh, whoa, man, that goes fast. That went faster than I thought. So, as you can see, uh, we got a decent sized pike here. And I just hope it's not going to spill me because it has happened. So here we go. Uh, I can tell you that this is not a small one. The reason that I'm uh, going back and forth with uh, my rod is so uh, when the fish goes to the left, what I do is I uh, place my rod to the right, so that's just sort of dragging it. And here we go, a nice northern pike, 1.2 kilograms, so not uh, not very uh, much. Uh, the other one I caught was 1.5 and 1.7, uh, but 30 XP still, that's uh, very nice, so we're going to keep that. Okay, so one more time I'm going to show you guys the setup. So uh, just the 210, the casting rod with the Lodex 1000S and the Braid 0.50mm line. This is enough to uh, to reel most of them in. Uh, if you do happen to have a very large northern pike on it, um, then this setup is better to handle it than the next setup, which is this one. Uh, it's the Jig Winner 240 with a wing cost 2500 and mono 0.23mm line and everything has to do with the reel on this one so this one has a max drag of 2.9 and then this one has a max drag of 3.0 kilograms so this one can handle the bigger fish a little bit better than uh, this one um, but then again uh, this one can cost further than uh, the casting rod so that's why I always uh, like to bring this uh, as well and then for float fishing, I use the Omni Float 450 with a wing cost 2500. Uh, chubby Bobber Hook 1.0. Uh, as I said, you can use up to 3.0. Uh, that goes to for the spoons. Uh, you can start with number 1 and 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 uh, works. Um, having a last look at uh, my catches. So here we have the Young Northern Pike and the Northern Pike. So this one was uh, the one that I caught and it gives us 18 bucks um, and then XP was was uh, 32-ish I think it was so um, that's uh, that's of course nice and then here we had uh, one with uh, 44 XP and then here we had one which was about 50 XP so all in all it's a nice fish to go after uh, the young ones don't reward you that much but the big ones uh, certainly do so I'm going to um, Wish you guys happy days, tight lines. I hope you enjoy it in New York. Uh, if you like my videos, uh, please uh, please like them. Uh, you can also su subscribe to my channel. If you have a question or a comment, uh, feel free to post them below. Or if you can find me in game, my name is The Lady. Um, you can always uh, poke me there. Uh, if I don't respond in game, it's because I'm busy. <laughs> it's not that I'm ignoring you guys. Uh, it's just that I'm busy. Um, anyways, so I'm wishing you guys happy days, sidelines, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.